What's going on today, YouTube? Another Warframe video for you today. And today, I wanted to help you make your Warframes and your weapons not only stronger, but more efficient. And I think that's really important as you start to go through the star chart, you start to understand the game a lot more, you start to do more of the side quests and the side missions, the special events and things like that. Some of these things that you're, you're going to start opening up as you progress through the game, whether it be quests or the star chart, whatever, if you haven't been treating your warframes and weapons to the proper upgrades, you're going to start to get overwhelmed by enemies, you're going to start to get killed, and if you revive, you're going to start using affinity just to get back up again, and it can get really, really, really bad really quick. I'm going to go over here to the mods in the orbit or the mod section and just kind of open up this menu. There's all kinds of different mods. I'm not going to really go over, you know, the different mods in the game, but I do want to help you understand how to make more out of your mods so that you can be stronger, your weapons can do more damage, and you can start focusing on the right things so that you can start taking down some of these harder enemies. So one of the first things I just wanted to cover real quick is you'll notice that the redirection that I use, 10 dots on the very bottom of it. Well, how do we do that and what does that even mean? So by default, redirection is plus 40% shield capacity. That's okay, I guess. If you're on Earth and the enemies are level 1 and 2, that's pretty good. But the more that you play this game, you'll start to pick up a currency known as Endo, which is up here in the top right. And I know mine's low. Don't laugh at me. I'm constantly spending Endo because everything I sell is max rank and I just get more platinum and less endo. That's just the way it is. But if you look at uh, this redirection right here, because it has no blue lights on the very bottom of it, and that means it's unranked. So if we select this and we go to fusion, well, now it gives us the option to use our endo and our in-game currency to go up to rank one, rank two, rank three. And you can notice up in the top left, it says percent shield capacity it's showing you the difference between when you started and what it's at now at rank four i think rank three so we go up again it's 200 percent and the more that you go the more expensive it gets over here with 10,000 endo if you want to put it at rank 10 and about half a million dollars that's really not too bad it depends on how far along in the game you are if that number looks pretty decent or pretty bad but that is how you get you know, maximum amount of shield, maximum amount, amount of health when you use Vitality or Steel Fiber. This is what you want to do with those mods to get the most health, the most shield, the most protection. And looking a little further into the Warframes, the ability strength or maybe the ability duration. You want to increase those percentages. You have to come and use the Fusion option within your your mod section in your orbiter. You'll notice too that uh, some of these, like Pointed Wind, is a stance mod for daggers. It only has three lights on the bottom. Those really only cost like 300 endo, I think, to rank up, and I don't even, I think a couple thousand currency. So if we look at my melee weapon that I have with Necros, the Cronum Prime, if I go into the upgrade section, you can notice up here at the top it has this swirly looking tribal logo you'll notice that it is for stance mods. That is the universal symbol for stance mods, and they only pertain to melee weapons. So if we were to take Gemini Cross, you can see on the very top right of this mod, it has the Matarai symbol, which is like the V. That's what people call the V logo, V symbol. That matches this up here. So that pretty much tells you that this stance mod is specifically made for this weapon, and it can vary through all the different weapons, swords, nunchucks, daggers, it doesn't matter. But right now we have a base 60 capacity. If we add this with the right matching polarity, it gives us four more capacity. However, if we use one that's maxed out, it goes up to 70. This is very important. This is how you get these insane numbers on the left because you're giving yourself more capacity, which means you can max out more of these mods so that you can use the stronger ones instead of the less effective ones. So let's look into the Baza. I have nothing on it right now in this configuration because I don't use config C, but I did want to show you critical chance is important, status chance is important, and the overall damage and proc down here on the bottom. What you want to focus on when you're looking at a brand new weapon is, is it more towards critical chance or more towards status chance? If the critical chance percentage is higher just by default, then that weapon is more focused on critical chance. And critical goes along with critical multiplier, which means when a critical hit happens, this is the multiplier 
of the damage that's going to be put out. And what that is multiplying is your total damage down here on the bottom. When it comes to status, these are your procs like fire and electricity and viral and radiation and things like that. The higher this percentage is, the more of a chance that you're going to light them on fire or hit them with electricity or viral stats or you know whatever the case is when you max out some of these mods and you get better ones like critical delay plus 200 percent critical chance you get this from the deimos vault which is covered in another one of my videos my critical chance is 124 percent so that's a guaranteed critical hit every shot multiplier is up from 3.3 to 6.6 .6, so it's going to multiply the overall damage 6.6 .6 times when it crits. I did have to sacrifice some fire rate and things like that, but this weapon is built more for critical hits than it is for status. You don't want to take a weapon that has a 5% status chance and a 50% critical chance. You don't want to build that towards status. You want to you want to capitalize on that high critical chance. So to focus on a couple of these other different ones, we already went over fusion and how to rank up your mods and make them more efficient. Transmute, you can take four different mods and you can put them into this transmutation process and you will get a random mod completely rng don't transmute commons or uncommons don't do those only do rares and if you need a bunch of rare mods i recommend going to neptune and go to the index four rare mods put them in there there's a good chance that you'll get something really really nice or something that's absolute shit but it's all rng and that's just one that's the price we got to pay you save probably tens of hundreds of hours with some of these mods you can get out of this so take it for what it's worth it can get a bit expensive but if you have the index currency isn't a problem for you never sell mods for currency i highly do not recommend this whatsoever zero out of ten would not play again don't ever do that and then you have the dissolve option into endo and what i recommend is to bring down this drop down and go to duplicates and then select this option right here that's also duplicates and this will bring up every single mod based on how many copies you have but you do get more based on the rarity value of the mod or you can sell them for platinum which is why i keep all things like slicing feathers and agility drift and intensify people are going to buy those so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it helped Hopefully you're looking at your Warframe and weapons a little bit differently now. If there's more critical and less status, build towards critical. If there's more status and less critical, build towards status. If your Warframe is more so their best abilities are focused on strength, then come down on range because you don't need range for strength. You want to hit them harder. You don't want to hit them farther away. You know what I mean? So start looking at Warframes and weapons like this. I promise it'll help you. You'll start to survive a lot longer, you'll start to do a lot more damage, and you'll be able to lead your group instead of trying to stay with everybody and trying to stay alive. So y'all enjoy the last day of your weekend. I'm going to as well. Probably going to do some index and some Eidolon hunts. I'm not even sure, but I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care.